so it is 3.30 in the morning and I've got this entire freaking aisle that they emptied out for me. That's so very nice of them. Yep. Almost 4 a.m. Looks like he complained about, he said that this one is where the problem started. And I actually found that this fan motor here has a bad connection. Probably still works, but I mean, this freaking thing froze up so bad. Uh, I'm gonna have to get the freaking water hose. I'm gonna be here till sunrise. What a bitch. Oh yeah, see, that ice here, ice everywhere. And you know what would be nice? If these freaking heaters were actually on the coil instead of like several inches off of them, not even touching the coil. That would be nice. So yeah, I got all the fans out and still in defrost. And I got this damn defrost heater pressed up against it a little better. But all this freaking ice is like built up up way up here on top. So it's all falling. It's raining in here big time. So I'm gonna start washing this out because that's what has to happen, unfortunately. It is 4.21 a.m. Uh, this sucks. I'm very, very tired. They just like make a mess in here. Nobody ever cleans it. They got the technician, the service technician, come, have to come out here and do it. What a shame. But I will say, one thing I love about H-E-B is they have hot water on every aisle. Well, it's supposed to be hot. It's been running for like three minutes. It ain't freaking hot yet. So I gotta do this for a while. I'm gonna record it. Finally, after 15 minutes, the water's getting a little warm. That'd be nice if it turned hot. Suck the cold water. Especially at 4 in the morning. 4.30 actually. Yeah, 4.30. So I got the valve shut off up there for the entire aisle and I'm letting these other fans run and defrost I think so I believe I got some ice hiding down there uh, in the back of all these that need to go because these fans have been running for a little while and they're blowing cold and there ain't no refrigeration going through them so i don't want to pull all these covers though because that would really suck 
but if I'm gonna let that, since they're empty, I'm gonna let all these other ones run while I wash this one. It takes forever to do this. You can tell that you're done when you when you put your hand down here and it's not cold anymore. That's how you that's when that's how you know you're done. When you can put your hand down here and it's not cold anymore. Yeah, that and uh, when you're when you're when you're rinsing, you'll see little pieces of ice floating by. Like watch. Let's just see if I can make some comfortable. There's little pieces of ice that are floating by. That's how I know I'm not done. Little pieces of ice like that that go floating by. See them? Well, you guys, on a brighter note, I passed my exam for my Texas Class A HVAC contractor's license back on the 7th. And I paid for my insurance. You gotta have, you gotta have general liability insurance for your company in order for the state to issue you a license. For me, just one guy who's never done anything, never started anything, I've got no claims, just one employee on a business that hasn't even really started yet, it's $2,000 a year, 20, 2100 a year actually. So if any of y'all want to get your license, uh, be ready to pay that shit. Right now I'm just waiting on the state to send me my license. I guess they send it like it comes like a, a plaque or some shit, I don't know. So, I'm probably going to stay with Hussman for a little while. I'm going to keep my day job until I just really can't do both of them anymore and I'm more busy with my residential. Do residential AC, that's what I'm going to do in Montgomery County and Harris County, Texas. It's going to be fantastic. Because this shit working for other people all these years like 25 years now, it's really getting old. I really hate my job. I really don't look forward to it anymore. Like, I hate it. Not fun anymore. I, I need, I need to do something better. So, that's what I'm doing.
when you do get those little things of ice that go floating by like that, that means you are close. You are close to being done with the section. So there they go. The little pieces of ice. Going floating by. See them? Right there. You can hear it too, like you can hear the ice, you can hear the water hitting the ice back there, way down there. I don't know how to explain what it sounds like, but if you know what it sounds like, then you know. You might even be able to hear it on here, I don't know. Alright, moving over here. Alright. All right, almost, uh, almost to the end. And then I'll turn them all back on. Ah, but I got still look, that little ice floaties going on over there. See? Set it like this. Yeah, set it like this. So I can uh, walk away and go do something before I drive myself crazy.
All right, 6.07 a.m., y'all. I got it all freaking defrosted. All I got those motors back in. And I just need to fix this. I gotta fix this, this burnt plug right there. Yeah, I gotta cut that out and also cut it out of that. That's how you do it. And here is the bad connection that caused all of this. And that I repaired. Maybe it wasn't the best repair in the world, but you know what? It works for me. And it will work for this. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed that bit of misery that I went through. That's all I got on this video. So if you've stuck with it this long, thanks for watching. Wish me luck on my ventures of starting my business and going out on my own, and I'll see y'all on the next one.